How's it going, everyone? Zero here, and all right. So first thing you're gonna notice, of course, is gonna be my webcam setup. Now, th the story behind that is the fact that I'm finally back in my country, in Chile, in my actual room. Now, in my room, I have a green skin setup that's like right in front of all my trophies. So I call it the, the trophy screen. You know, it's not a green screen. Maybe we can call it the green trophy screen. You know, now the green trophy screen because of all the you know all the money earned. <laughs> I don't know, just kidding. Anyway, um. So yeah, um, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my trip. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be playing computers, you know, just team chilling. But the thing that happened was that I left Los Angeles, California, you know, Sky's uh, house at 3 a.m. on Wednesday. I will. You know, Tyron took the time to drive me. Tyron's the best uh, brawl player in the West Coast. Also the best mass brawl player up there with Foe. And you know, he drove me to the airport, and and K9 uh, helped me out with the, with the luggage. You know, K9. The guy from from the Salt compilation. He's actually a really nice guy. He's actually a really really nice guy. A good friend of mine. And I helped me out with the bags. You know, made sure I was all fine and good to go. And then I just you know got on the plane. I had to pay. I had to pay uh, uh overweight for one of my bags. You know, cause, you know can't really do much. You know, I always end up with more stuff than I end up coming with for whatever reason. <laughs> and and funny enough, the Apex trophy was actually very heavy. So so that definitely helped. <laughs> going overboard and oh nice knee and then so I had to take a five hour plane to Dallas fourth word right I made it I made it to Dallas around 10 a.m. or so because the plane left like at five or six or something like that so around 10 11 11 ish I was at the airport in Dallas and then here comes the ugly part I had to wait around 10 to 11 hour layover to make it to my Santiago of the Chile uh, plane you know like literally wait there 12 hours or 10 hours or so and and I only managed to sleep like an hour or two in that whole period of time despite me not sleeping you know on the Dallas plane or anything like in the Dallas plane I slept like three hours or something and then I slept like two hours well like carefully taking care of all my bags so nothing gets taken you know at the airport and then that was that was that was not bad like that was that was bad like I was out of energy the whole day when I finally made it to my plane in uh, for, for Chile, I just could not sleep. I was either too anxious, too... You know how sometimes you're, like, really exhausted, but you can't really, like, like, like sleep? Like, you're so tired, you can't sleep. Has, ever, has, has that ever happened to you guys? Like, I don't know, but that's what happened to me, and it was really crappy, and I wasn't really feeling well with the whole thing. And then, you know, I just had to grind it out. Um, You know, I had my... Uh, the, the Astro guys were really generous. They sent me a lot of equipment, a lot of headsets, a lot of like audio things, you know, for me to toy around with, and and enjoy. And you know, they sent me this uh, this model called the 838 wireless headset that I'll, I'll be showing you guys in a showcase video very soon. And the cool thing about this is that it's designed to be like a travel headset, right? So it's wireless. It's pretty small, but it's really comfortable. Like I I literally wore that headset for the whole trip, and the whole trip was like. Pretty much almost 30 hours counting layovers and everything it was like literally 30 hours of traveling and my ears did not hurt from them i was comfortable the battery lasted me the whole time i don't know how i was just dead i was listening to music the whole time and i also had a portable charger to keep charging my phone so you know i had music to come with me the whole time so it wasn't too bad could have been way worse but having no wi-fi on the plane really killed me uh for the 10 hour one for chilling on my way to Chile, I mean, that really killed me. I don't know why they don't have Wi-Fi on, on those planes. But they have Wi-Fi for like two-hour planes, you know, from New York to whenever, to wherever. But no, man, on the international flight, man, the 10-hour one when you want to be entertained, nope, no Wi-Fi for you, man, no Wi-Fi. And I was like, really? And then, you know, um, I was just, I was like, well, that sucks, you know, what can you do? And... I just grinded it out, just listened to all that music. And I think I slept like 30 minutes. And I only slept when they said we're landing in 30 minutes or something on the on the speaker thing. And then my brain's like literally, I was literally looking at something on the wall and then I'm like And then next thing I wake up is the guy pushing me so he can get out of there, you know? You know, to grab his luggage above. I was like, oh, okay. So I managed to dip out of there, uh uh, the the process of getting my luggage was actually pretty lucky. Like I got my bags pretty quickly, got through security pretty quickly, and then I met my friend right away outside. Uh, the, the friend that came to pick me up is one of my best friends. His name is uh, Etolf. 
or Etolf, like, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, but his name in Spanish is Mauricio, and yeah, he came to pick me up. So the thing about the place where I live, I live in a town that's five hours away from the airport, and the bus, and you know, you have to make it there by bus because you can't fly there. Uh, so it's just a town. It's not a city. It's a town. It's not a town and city. <laughs> Get it? And what ended up happening was that you know he just took a five-hour bus, made it to the city, got housed by another smasher, <laughs> got up in the early in the morning, came to pick me up, helped me with all the luggage, and you know took the bus with me. So total homie, dude. Whoever says that you can't make you know really good friends from from the Smash community, I mean they're super wrong. Most my best friends are Smash players. I will I will say with a lot of confidence. You know Michikan, you know Mauricio, you know, among other people. You know D1 too. So it's like you know you you can meet wonderful people in this community, and that's a testament to that. You know. So yeah, um, when we exit out the airport, we we went downstairs right to get a cab, and then the creepy thing that happened was that um, I saw this guy standing literally near the entrance, right? With like a sign that said like taxi official service or something and they had like a batch so it's like oh this looks legit so i was like oh yeah, i need a cab he's like sure man and he calls like one of the people around and and then we get this guy in a suit or anything like kind of like a suit just not without the jacket like the the suit but not the jacket you just the shirt and he's like yeah sure just come with me and then we go to this parking lot which is already weird and then he takes out the car which it's not a cab it's, it's just a car it's not a taxi it's just, it's just a car and then they take it. Like the price was fine. It was like thirty bucks or something, which is like fine. I mean, it's like a thirty-minute drive or something. And then, dude, like I was scared the whole time. I was like, what if this guy just kidnaps us or, or something? Like this isn't that shady. I mean, nothing wrong happened. The guy was really, the guy was really nice. But I find it kind of crazy that you know they advertised the whole thing as official taxi service, and it was not even that. Like you can like, you know, that's some that's some shady uh, breach of a. Uh, you know, security you know, or safety that, you know, like you can't really control any of that, you know. But anyway, that's why we call my country things that happen in Chile. Anyway, <laughs> um, we got some really good food, my friend. We had some burgers, you know. Uh, the, the drinking age in my country is 18, right? So, so, of course, you know, I got a couple drinks, you know, a couple funny drinks too as well, you know. It's been a while since I had my, a drink last time. I'm almost 20. Um, we're going to be 20 in April, and time really goes fast. And, you know, after that, it was just like, get on the bus. I slept pretty much the whole ride, fortunately. Like, I think I slept, like, out of five hours, that's the bus ride. I think I slept, like, four hours and 30 minutes. My friend just kept playing Ace Attorney, used chin chilling. And, you know, when we made it to the bus terminal, we had to carry out all my luggage, get on a cab. And then, when I made it back home, you know, uh, you know how people say that dogs don't have memory? Like... I, I literally leave my house from three to a year time period, you know, like a while, like a good time. And my dog will always, like, whenever he he sees me after a long time, after I come back, he'll, like, he'll, like, look at me. He's, like, and then he recognizes me. He's, like, oh, it's him. And then he jumps all over me, like, literally, he jumps over me, like, hugging me, like, like, jumping above me, like, literally hugging me. And then he, like, he, like, puts his head on me, and he's, like, like you know, like a like a dog hug, and then uh, my cat will do, will do the same thing too. Like they recognize me, you know, they're my pals. And then this guy here, man, got a nice family dinner with my mom, my friend. We had we had steak, mashed potatoes, and chili salad, which is tomato salad, which is very common in Chile. We add tomato to a lot of things, and onions and other things that I don't know how to say in English. But you should get the idea if you Google chili salad. And after that, I had to set up my whole, my whole computer because all my cables were disconnected and everything, you know. So in case you know, my mom does that whenever I, I travel out. So like the room was clean, everything. My mom always takes care of everything. My mom actually even like redesigned my room so I can have the green screen set up behind me. She arranged all my medals, all my trophies. She made like a, a picture gallery, right, of all my tournaments, all the streams I was on. Like she keeps tabs on me constantly. She's very proud of me. And. You know, all my anime posters are really well taken care of. And everything is super nice. I could come here, fresh, full of food, you know, get welcomed with a, with, a, with a nice warm hug and dinner. And, like, my, my room's good to go. Just get to plug in a few things. You know, it's it's super nice. My, I love my house. I love, I, love, I love my mom. So, you know, I just wanted to, like, 
make a video, you know, um, with you guys, you know, just to kind of like let you guys know what I'm up to. Um, when you see this video, which is gonna be Friday for you guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing uh, with my friend um, on like in person matches. He's like the second best player in Chile. If I'm not there, he's he's the best player, and. I'm gonna be recording some matches for the YouTube channel, you know, do more matches and stuff like uh, things like that. The reason I had so many Little Mac matches is that I wanted um, Monkey to go a lot of Little Mac. I wanted to like sh showcase a lot of different characters fighting Little Mac. But of course, you know, enough is enough. So we're gonna have a few Barry matchups against my friends. So don't worry about that. But hey, guys, for now, just just an update. I want to do a few reviews. I have uh, I have a, I'm gonna I have a few reviews coming up on some products I got. And other cool things. So yeah, definitely stay tuned with the YouTube channel. And also, I'm gonna be streaming much regularly. Like, I think I'll be streaming like six days a week, pretty much. Just have one day of a break, you know? Because why not? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. And hopefully, you know this update. Well, no, we'll let you guys know where I'm at right now. But so far, it's nice. I think I'll be back in the U.S. by early April, so I can prepare for Evo. But that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one. Stay awesome.